repairing the DNA. So in normal condition, this uh, repair and uh, some um, some other factors act here for repairing, or if they can't repair this damage, this cell starts to apoptose. Okay, but in some patients with some um, some genetically mutation, they can't repair, and they have some mutation in this repairing system. They can't repair this, and this starts to making malignant cell and starts to making malignant. Cell. Just a single nucleotide mutation can. Yes. Yes. Any mutation can be uh... about viral and microbial oncogenesis. Uh, we have some RNA virus that are oncogenic. Then it means that uh, to have cancer, uh, just mutation is not enough. There must be defect in the repairing system. Yes, we have some. Uh, we have some mutations in repairing system. We have some mutations in. Uh, oncogenes, we have many mutations. We said that uh, by many mutations that some of them are genetically and some of them are acquired. Finally, the neoplastic cells uh, start to Oncogenic RNA virus. HTLV1 is a type of uh, virus that uh, we call them human T-cell lymphotropic virus type 1. Uh, this virus can cause T-cell leukemia and lymphoma that is endemic in certain parts of Japan or uh, other sites. Uh, and also it, uh, it is found sporadically in other places. This virus has tropes for uh, CD4 T-cells. You know that our T-cells, some of them are CD4, some of them are CD8. This virus like this type of T-cells, we don't know why. And uh, this subset of T-cells is the major target for neoplastic transformation. Human infection requires transmission of infected T-cells through sexual intercourse, blood product, or breastfeeding. Leukemia develops only in about 3 to 5 percent of infected persons after a long latent period of 20 to 50 years. Another important virus is the HPV. HPV is papilloma virus. This is another oncogenic potential. Uh, the oncogenic potential can be related to products of two early virus genes. Uh, two genes that are very important in this virus uh, are E6 and E7. 